Mayor Adams, uh, you've consistently called for changes to the state bail laws to address repeat offenders that commit crimes throughout the city. As you just testified at this hearing on bail data, you've identified around 2,000 individuals that are responsible for most of the crime in the city. Do you think that last year's changes to the bail laws have helped the city deal with these repeat offenders? And what's your plan on how to address these serial criminals? Uh, 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 my counsel, uh, Brendan McGuire, has done a lot of work around this area. And uh, Brendan, can you? Sure. Thank you for the question, sir. Um, I, I think the mayor is absolutely right. There is a small number um, of extreme recidivists in the city who are responsible for a disproportionate amount of the crime and also who, who are uh, failing to appear uh, for court appearances. The mayor has focused on about 2,000 or so individuals who are particularly uh, violent. Uh, beyond that number, though, there is a larger group of extreme recidivists uh, of about 9,000 people. Uh, just to take one example, uh, those 9,000 individuals, they represent about 8% of the total number of defendants arrested in 2022. Uh, last year, that eight, those 8% 8 of people were responsible for 56% uh, of felony burglaries in the city. They were also responsible for more than 30% um, of uh, assaults uh, as well as uh, robberies. So we have um, this issue where you, you, where you have a disproportionate, where you have a smaller number um, of defendants, uh, we are calling extreme recidivists, uh, who are exploiting the current system uh, and need to be addressed. And one number is important to point out that the council shared with me is that they're eight times more likely not to return to court. Small number of people, disproportionate amount of crime, making a mockery of the reforms we fought for in the criminal justice system.